my hot take of the week is that people should be able to do any drug they want to and it should be decriminalized like if you want to do heroin okay do it like as long as you're not harming anybody and you don't have children that you're like neglecting who am i to stop you yeah i think you should be able to do any drug at any point do you think anybody should be able to sell any drug what do you mean so if heroin is legal on the the Uh taking it side should it also be legal on hey yo selling it side (laughs) and i don't know if i would go as far as all drugs should be legalized i could see all drugs being decriminalized though so you think it should be sold through a like a a store right No, no no that would be legalizing it now certainly some states can do that if they want but okay i don't think you should go to jail if you do drugs Now, if you're actively harming someone, then you should. Well, let me not say jail. Then something should be done. So Um, if... Yeah. She muted it. So if you... I'm going to say, yeah, she muted it back. Damn, she don't have to do this shit? Hey, I'm telling you, she don't watch me do this. Let her speak. Let her speak. Look at her face. You know what she's doing. Look, look, look. No, you're not about to mute it while I'm about to speak. Hold on. So even if it's drugs that have confirmed, like, usually when people do these drugs, they can literally harm other people. Still decriminalized, well, like alcohol, okay? like alcohol, no, like perks. Well, but alcohol, you do the same thing, yeah. Yeah, like you, you know, you can't buy alcohol after 11 o'clock because they're trying to help with drinking and driving. They okay, but what, but, but what about before 11 o'clock? One. You said you what? Can still drive, you can still drink and drive before 11 o'clock, and I think drinking and driving should remain illegal. But like, if you want to be drunk, okay, if you want to be high. Okay, but if you're now like stealing from somebody or robbing somebody, then that's so, the issue. So you're okay with people just doing fentanyl? So you feel like there should be no regulation right. or no criminalization of people selling and doing fentanyl? If people choose to do fentanyl, they should be able to do it. Like, I'm not gonna the tell opioid, them what they can and um, can't do with their body. First opioid? off, fentanyl is prescribed in hospitals, let's be crystal. Even for women and birthing people that are delivering. Damn, okay, is hey, wait, wait, let me do, let me do this one. You did that? you That's did you watch yeah. um opioid pain on ne- painkiller on na- on Netflix? Did you I see did that? Not. Okay, I so after it. this, if you have time, watch painkiller on Netflix. Be oh sorry, watch no 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 no, you good you good. Oh, watch painkiller on Netflix. Um, because you had like you said, uh, opioids are prescribed by doctors. Now you know every time a doctor writes a prescription, they get paid. So if we know that opioids need to be controlled substances, but I'm constantly writing scripts scripts to get paid, I'm one incentivized uh, to it, prescribe it. Exactly. Knowing people are dying, people are not using it the right way. Addictions are real. So to say, which I get as a pain, I think people should do drugs whenever, but if you're doing drugs, you can't get up for work, you can't drive your car, you literally not eating your okay. literally. The drugs are there are plenty of functional folks that use drugs and use drugs recreationally. Now I'm not saying people should do them, but who am I to tell you that you can drink alcohol but you can't smoke crack? If that's what you want to do, I, th- cool. I think if you can hold down your job, great. You know, but if you can't hold down your job, but hold up. But the difference is with people who smoke crack and the people who drink. There's a uh, there's people who are li- held liable, right, um, for the way these substances are brought to the public right when people alcohol, are in- alcohol companies are held liable are vaping companies held liable there's yeah no but there's somebody age. yeah but there's somebody who you can go to court and say this happened like people who've taken big pharma companies to there's at least somebody liable and there's a bureaucracy that says these people approve this these are the people who will be held responsible if something goes wrong right and I now we all know that could be a thing I mean, now yeah, but, just because I did, I don't know, fentanyl doesn't mean that I can't sue the person who sold it to me. I don't know. It's not like these gonna, pharma companies are just disappearing and folks can't sue if they want to. You going to sue Big Rail for giving you some bad crap? But, yeah, Michael sure. Michael K. Williams' uh, drug dealer just yes. went to, he just got sentenced to prison. Mac Miller's uh, drug dealer just got sentenced to prison as well. Yeah, you but think, do, you do you think if they weren't Mac Miller and... I'm about to say the average person... Yeah, this, happens, this, happens, happens, drug this happens all the time. This happens all the time. But I mean, oh, you think they usually find dealers? People mm-hmm. who are of class and privilege will I most likely get time, but like, some sort of time in court. There's Simple. No so, the, 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 my, rest in peace to him. Because he uh, it's the anniversary of his passing. But I had a classmate recently, not recently, but I had a classmate 
um, who passed away a couple of years ago because he was at a party. He was doing recreational drugs. He got a bad batch of drugs. He died. The person who gave him that bad batch of drugs, it wasn't. They weren't even necessarily a dealer per se. They were somebody else with the drugs. They went to jail. So my question is, what percentage of people who die from overdose? Their dealers are charged. I think that's the. Benefit. I don't know how. I can't. I, but see, that's I, what you would have to know that answer to say it nah, usually really. happens. Yeah, I'm about to say not no, really. To we say pot, something. No, no. To say something usually <laughs> happens. You have to. Seventy five. Seventy five percent. Seventy five percent. Now I will say. <laughs> I'm not just saying everything should be decriminalized and nothing else. I think we should have better social safety nets for folks that have addictions, realize that and want to get help. Great. We should have That's more support for people like that. Cool. People also should know what they're taking. So if you have laced my marijuana with fentanyl, I should know that. You shouldn't just give me something that you know could kill me. But that that But would, if you that... want to do drugs in general, who am I to tell you you can't? Yeah, but then I, I guess like that's why I asked about the selling part. Cause the only way to like say <laughs> you can't lace my whatever, you would have to require people to label things. Like when you put like a seasoning in a store, you have to put everything that's in that seasoning, right? Right. And I'm not and, saying legalize it. I'm not saying that. I'm okay. saying decriminalize mm -hmm. and people shouldn't lace drugs. Now, what they do and what they don't is not up to me. But there are lots of things that people do in terms of harm reduction including um, like self-tests that you can buy where you can sprinkle your uh, marijuana into something, into like a solution and it'll turn mm -hmm. a certain color and lets you know if something is present or not. Yeah. So certainly take care of yourself. Use clay needles if that's what you're going to do. It's about harm reduction. People are going to do drugs. That's okay. Yeah, I think I think that's the main thing that I got to. Well, oh, what I know. Cute. That is a family pick. This, that's why. I, <laughs> that's people, people, people are going to do drugs. Like period, point blank. No matter how you slice it, no matter how you dice it. You should probably be in a place that you can create the safest space for these people to do drugs. Uh, it's not going to be perfect. It's never going to be perfect. However, we let people run around and do alcohol, a mm -hmm. drug, all mm -hmm. day long. Why Why we put this stop here, this arbitrary stop here at like alcohol and then tobacco, Lord knows. But we've done it. Like I think, a, I think there comes like a level of like dependency versus there's a lot of folks are addicted to caffeine yeah folks okay. are addicted to adderall sugar mm -hmm. yeah i just okay we just making stuff up now tell me tell me